Hi guys, welcome back to Irene Tarot Art. I'm Ren, Irene. Um, so this week's been pretty busy. Leading up to Christmas, we've done a lot of Christmas shopping, a lot of running around, obviously. I completed a moonlit Tondo painting recently, so I thought I'd include the footage of that in this week's video. And I've done a lot of things around the garden because everything's just going crazy, growing. Even though this year we've had our third La Nina summer in a row, which is unheard of in Australia. Normally we have really hot summers. By this time of year, we're sort of mid 30s to 40 degrees. This year it's just been wet and not very warm. So by this time of year, I normally have a lot more things growing. But um, I mean, everything's doing well, but it's just the fruit and veg and everything's sort of been delayed this year, even cherries, like in Australia across the Christmas season, cherries are really common, everyone's eating cherries. Um, and this year, even that's been delayed, I, that's like my favourite fruit this time of year, I, mean, I normally eat kilos upon kilos of cherries. But um, yeah, it's just one of those years, apparently Lenina's going to finish in January and then we're going to get some hotter weather. And that's my phone. Hello! Yeah, so basically that was just at the hospital. Um, I have so many appointments with the Crohn's, like half the time I don't even, I can't even keep on top of it. I just write everything in a planner. Um, but yeah, I have like immune suppressant injections regularly. I was having them weekly when I was on Humira, but now I'm on Stellara, so that's a lot easier. It's only once every eight weeks, but then I have B12 shots. Um, I have checkups for my bloods every sort of couple of weeks or so to make sure that all my levels are okay as they can fluctuate a lot with Crohn's. But anyway, it's pretty good at the moment. I'm on top of it at the moment. I just have to go in for a small procedure, get put under again. I've already been put under four times this year. So not looking forward to it, but this will be next year anyway, because they said within 90 days. So yeah, anyway, it's just one of those things. But um, yeah, so basically got the Moonlit painting done this week. So I'll include some footage of that and then um, maybe some footage of the garden and some things I did. I did a bit of filming this week while I was doing things in the garden and things like that. Um, a barbecue that we had. We love to barbecue in Australia. Um, yeah. So when I'm painting, sometimes I do sort of wet on wet, like I have my own style. I don't follow anyone else's style. I've never been taught landscape painting. I've taken portraiture classes, but I'm pretty set on not learning anyone else's way of painting landscapes. I love having my own style. I think that's what sets people apart as artists. Like Van Gogh and you know, when you think of any artist that was self-taught, they used their own style and created artworks in the way that felt right to them and that's what I want to continue to do. So my art is very much surrealism um, style, I guess, but in my own way of creating that style. So sometimes it's wet on wet, dry brush, it's, it varies. I use lots of turpentine, which usually it's just a thinning product. You don't usually use a lot of it during the painting process. Um, but yeah, 
Um, I, I love to just do it my own way. And once I've done quite a few layers, um, I sometimes let it dry for a day or two to allow it to get tacky, and that way oil paint will stick better to the underneath layers once it's sort of dried that little bit and it becomes a little bit tacky. Um, so I might be doing other things. Sometimes I have two uh, paintings on the go at the one time for that reason. If I want to keep painting, and I've got time throughout my days and let's say I've just finished a layer and I've got all afternoon, then I might start another painting. Um, but in general, it works out well that I might need to let it dry for a day or two because that way I can do other things that I need to do that week. And then I go back to it when, I, when it's sort of a little bit more tacky and a little bit more dry. So I did quite a bit in the garden while that layer was getting tacky.
So these are our chili plants. There's three different hot chilies growing in these two big planters, which have lots and lots of little flowers growing on them now. I don't know if I can get in there. And yeah, lots of little flowers. So there'll be lots and lots of chilies soon. Our cucumbers, which we counted the other day, and there's 32 little cucumber plants growing on them, which are tiny at this point. Let me just hang on, let's see if I can, like that's a tiny cucumber right there. But yeah, we're going to have lots of cucumbers. They're capsicums of various colours and the two end ones are Hungarian sweet chilies, which are banana peppers basically. There's some flowers, some peas, some snow peas growing up our roses. Some sugar snap peas growing up the side of the garage, and then come the tomatoes, <laughs> which we've got so many of, and there's just dozens and dozens and dozens growing on there. So, we're gonna have a lot of tomatoes. This is only half our tomato plants, there's some more up the back. There, there's the tomatoes and then there are the radishes that we planted, pulling all the radishes out. Spring onions back there. There's, oh, I can't really see because of the light. But those are eggplant plants back there. Zucchini, zucchini, another big zucchini at the back. Another zucchini here. I've got to replant that fern over the weekend. I've got couple of things to replant over the weekend. Lots of beetroot here. There's more tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. So we're going to have a lot of tomato sauce. I'll probably just make some for starter. Bottle it up and we'll have some more year. So that's those things. And then this is sort of my favourite part of the garden. We've got lights all throughout this tree. Um, and we've got a couple of day beds which I love to sort of sit up there nice cocktail or a glass of wine and the weather's nice I love this tree it's just got the best shade so we love to just sort of lay back there and have a chat and have a drink and lots and lots of herbs over this side and I'm back to the painting Uh, the vinyl layers are my favourite, but by this stage you can sort of set the tone of what the painting is going to be like with the surrounding background completed. Now, in the summer months in Australia it's really common to be outdoors a lot, barbecue, be in the garden, um, like that little shaded area that was I had footage of have a cocktail, we'll have a sort of sit outside and a chat or even at the outdoor setting where we sort of sit around. If we have friends for a barbecue or a pizza night or even if just us, the family, we'll go out, throw some things on the barbecue and have dinner out there. Throw a shrimp on the barbie is a common saying for a reason. In Australia we barbecue quite a bit in the summer months but not just shrimp obviously, we have all sorts of things. Um, so this week we had a bit of a barbecue because the weather was quite nice one afternoon. USB-C charging just $149. Bunnings trade helping Jazz and Max should be here soon. Get serious value this Black Friday with Aussie Broadband. Save $129 on Aussie Broadband 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 with Aussie Broadband. Save $129 on Aussie
Jesus. Fans here, are you age 13 to 16? We're looking for a thrill-seeking reporter who loves having fun to test out the new Sorry. supernova water slide at Funfield Steam Park. Right. Up for the job, That's her the now. Slide, We're like three minutes away. Just bring the chicken. We're just eating lobster. Hello. Thank you. And then grab a drink and come out. Don't worry, we're not having any more lobster. We just ate a whole lobster. He wants to book another one. I'm like, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Hey, and the sun's gone, so I wouldn't have mattered anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, your yeah. grandma was so upset. You didn't come. She was, Mom. She was. She goes, Where's Jazz? Where's Jazz? She didn't say it like that, but she goes, Where's Jazz? And I go, Look, she's got a thing with Max, but she said to tell you she's sorry she didn't come and she loved you very much. She goes, Oh. <laughs> so when I tell her, I went have a look at wheels. Oh, stop it! Just, just take care of the barbecue. Yeah, but no good. No good. <laughs> colour was good though. colour. And then finishing up the painting is by far my favourite part. Other than going at it with a large brush and turpentine in the first layer. Those two parts, the start and the finish of the painting, are the best parts. In the middle, sometimes it can be a little bit... Um, tedious at times depending how much detail will go into a painting. This week's painting isn't very difficult, there's not a lot a lot of detail and it's quite limited palette wise. It's only sort of blues and greys and black and white um, but sometimes some paintings can take quite a while and the middle section where you're just defining everything can take some time and then at the end when you're highlighting things and you're just kind of putting the light in the painting, it's the best part. I think it just brings it to life and then it makes you sort of stand back and go, ah, oh, okay, yep, no, that worked out well. And in between doing layers of the painting, if Jazz is home for lunch and she's not working, I'll make us up something for lunch that we both enjoy. If I'm just on my own, I might throw together a salad or a wrap. Um, we've had lots of random things this week. I haven't included like a full recipe this week. But um, yeah, we just have like dumplings some days for lunch. Sometimes I might make a noodle bowl up, um, something along those lines. And then when, and then if I'm painting that day, I'll finish up lunch with Jasmine, come back to painting. Sometimes we go out to lunch, sometimes when she's at work, I'll take her out to lunch. I'll go, I'll drive out to Horn Ponds where she's working and we'll go to a restaurant for lunch when she gets an hour lunch break. We quite enjoy eating out, Jay and I as well. We have like date night every Friday night. And then with Jazz, we usually have lunch out once every sort of week or two. Um, even though I love cooking, it's still nice to have people cook for you every now and then and not to have to do the cooking. So yeah, but I enjoy it. I enjoy throwing together something really nice to eat instead of just grabbing a sandwich or some, I don't know, boring lunch so yeah
back to the best bit of the painting, which I normally don't stop once I start. And then it'll be finished. So next week I'm going to be working on a cove painting um, inspired by a place down the Great Ocean Road which is quite close to where we are as I said last time. So I'm going to be including the process of painting that as well as some Christmas footage. Um, I may film a little bit at family Christmas so we celebrate Christmas on, on Christmas Eve with my family because in Hungary Christmas Eve is our Christmas day as such. We have dinner together and then we open presents together. Everyone buys for everyone because we just love buying for everyone. Um, and, and we eat and drink and we be merry as you're supposed to be at Christmas time. And then Christmas day in general, like Jasmine will go off this year and she'll be with Max's family Christmas day. We would be with Jay's family Christmas day, but. This year it just happens that his brother's working and um, we won't actually have Christmas Day with them, we'll have Boxing Day with them instead. So Christmas Day, we open presents ourselves just here amongst us. We give all the other presents on Christmas Eve, but for ourselves we keep our presents until Christmas morning. We open them together and then Jasmine will go off and do her thing with Max. Usually we go off and do whatever with Jay's family. Um, this year we're just going to have like a big roast dinner, all the trimmings, some ham, um, things like that on Christmas Day and then Boxing Day we'll celebrate with Jay's family. I'm not sure if I'll get any footage during that but that's what we'll be doing. And um, there's a lot of wrapping and decorating and all of that to be done. The tree has been decorated since the 1st of December. I usually decorate on the 1st of December every year without fail. Uh, there's been one year where I was in hospital with Crohn's on the 1st of December and my best friend Teresa, she's she's a saint um, and she's lovely with Jasmine, Jasmine adores her. Um, she brought Jasmine back to my place to stay the night so she can stay here with Kimba instead of having to stay at my mum's house. This is going back a few years ago when Jazz wouldn't stay on her own now. She's 19, I suppose she could. But she wouldn't anyway because we have Jay in the house now. But anyway, she brought Jazz back here and they decorated on the first even though I couldn't be here. And I got home from hospital to find the house had been all decorated, which was lovely. But normally I do that myself. I decorate everything on the first. And then leading up to sort of the week or two before Christmas, I'll start wrapping all the presents and then putting everything under the tree, bagging up all the presents that will be taken to Christmas Eve, depending on where it is. Last year it was at my sister's, this year it will be at my mum's place since my sister's two daughters are away in Queensland with their biological father this year and then they'll come back later on. So yeah, it's going to be less people um, and we're just going to be at my mum's eating, drinking, being merry and that, that'll be our Christmas. So that's what's coming up next week. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas as next week's video will be posted after Christmas. So in the meantime, enjoy Christmas, have a great time, enjoy each other's company, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.